Hello everyone, this is Prashant from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I'm going to talk something very basic that is how to color power center logs before reaching out to GCS. The agenda of this video is to let you know the steps to collect the exact or the right set of power center logs for any issues, any basic issues that you are facing. The right set of logs is always important in order to isolate or understand the issue, analyze them and provide some resolution to it. So these are a set of logs which GCS would be interested in, that is the domain log, integration service, repository, etc. These are the things that we need to keep in mind while collecting the logs. The first thing is the log should not be mixed. That means the log file which is given should not be having logs of multiple application services. The second thing is the logs should belong to the timestamp. If the logs do not belong to the timestamp, then the logs provided would be useless. And the third thing is the set of logs should not be incomplete. That means for any issues, it might be required that a set of logs from different services needs to be required and needs to be analyzed. So we need to make sure that all the logs that are in regards or in relation to the issue needs to be provided. So for that case, in order to make sure that all the set of logs have been provided well, we need to remember this flow that is workflow session, interacting with integration service, uh, interacting with repository service, interacting with the domain. So if you are facing any issues with workflows, you need to provide the workflow log, session log, along with integration service log, repository service log, and the domain log. And similarly, if you are facing any issues with the repository, or I mean, you can, you can say the integration service itself, then you need to provide integration service log, repository service log, and the domain log. So this, the flow continues as per... Uh, as for the service or the session or anything that you are having the issues with. So if it's if it's with the domain itself, then you need to provide the node logs from the Informatica server. So in the next slide, we'll just look into how to collect the application service log in a proper way so that it would be easier to analyze. So I've currently logged into my admin console and I just need to go to the logs directory and the service section. For example, I have some issue with the workflows which are failing, uh, which are running under some integration service. So in order to collect the logs, we need to select the type as as you must be remembering the flow, if we are facing any issues with the workflows or sessions, we would be collecting the workflow session logs, which in this case we'll pre-assume that we have already collected those things and we are now have to collect integration service log, the repository service log, and the domain log. In case, suppose you are having any issues with the repository service itself, then you just need to collect the repository service log and the domain log. We'll just stick to the issue as a workflow or session failure or something. And you just need to select the type as power center integration service. And you need to select the problematic or you can say the integration service which with, uh, with, with which the workflows are running. And you, you can also provide the timestamp uh, if you, if you, if you are aware of the time when the issue has occurred. So this helps to minimize the, the, the logs so that it would be easier to extract 
and also to analyze you can just filter this out and you can click on actions and save the log as text similarly you can collect the for the repository service as well and the repository service to which uh, the IS is the integration service is associated with and you can collect the domain logs from the domain uh, tab and you need not do much anything over here besides you can select the timestamp and you can just filter and save the logs so after after collecting all these application service uh, logs you can just zip everything into one folder and you can you can provide it to the GCST so this is from the admin console level what are all the basic uh, logs that can be collected uh, in order to analyze the issues so in case if you are facing any issues with the domain itself or admin console or, uh, or the domain is not restarting or anything we need to collect the logs from the informatica server so this so let's move on to the linux box where my informatica server is installed so this is the linux box where my informatica application is installed on uh, on this host name window and i am under this infa home 1041 uh, logs no directory and you can see uh, these are the set of logs that would be present under this directory so you need to provide all the logs from this directory um, if you are facing any issues with the domain itself if it is a multi-node setup you need to provide the the same set of logs from from all the nodes so that is it for the demo and just to summarize we just we just need to know the flow and depending on the issues we can we can collect the required set of logs and we need uh, and the things uh, that we need to avoid is to be taken care and you can also follow this master kb for power center uh, article which uh, which is there uh, i can quickly show you that so this is the master kb for power center itself and it it it, it shows uh, the issue type and the logs needed so these are the common issues where where uh, most of the customers face uh, so you can just see if if your issue belongs here and you can collect the required set of logs um, all in, in the way that uh, we'll just showcase in the demo so why why is it specific is that from uh, the admin console we need to make sure you need you shouldn't be collecting something like all the logs most of the times it is collected as all the logs so it, it it's, it's just like a mix of all the services that you are having so we just need to make sure to avoid that and just to collect only the services for which you are facing the issues so if you are facing any issues with the workflow sessions you need to collect the workflow logs the respect to is log and the respect to rs log and if it's something with integration service you need to collect respect to is and the respect to rs log and and respect to domain log i mean domain log is just uh, one in hand so we need not worry about this so that's all for this video and i hope uh, you got some idea on how to collect the exact logs or the things to be taken care of while collecting the logs so that exact logs will be given for the GCS to provide the analysis. So we would love to hear a feedback from you at support videos at informatica.com. You can just mail to them 
in case of any uh, any feedback that you want to provide and also we are available at twitter under info support info support thank you for uh, reaching to the end of the slide and yeah and have a good day